in this video i will discuss inverse z transform by using long division method or also known as power series method long division method or power series method is simple method to calculate inverse z transform this method can be used if roc is z greater than a roc is if z is greater than some value it means that the sequence x of n is right, right sided sequence the right sided sequence is also known as causal sequence and if roc is less than some value then the sequence is said to be left sided sequence that is known as non causal sequence but the long division method is not applicable for two sided sequence let me let me explain this in detail so as we know that z transform of any sequence is given by the formula x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n now let me simplify or let me expand this summation by substituting different values now let me expand this summation word for different values of n so for n equal to minus infinity it will be x of minus infinity z power plus infinity because already there is a minus plus it will be continued so for n is equal to minus 2 we have x of minus 2 z of 2 plus x of minus 1 z power 1 plus we have x of 0 z power 0 that is nothing but 1 then now the value of n will be positive that is x of 1 z power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2 and so on so here the x of z or x of n is two sided sequence here x of n is two sided sequence here we can observe that for negative values if the signal is left sided then the power of z will be positive and if the signal is right sided then the power of z will be negative now let me consider x of n sequence which is causal case 1 consider sequence x of n is causal then so in that case we can represent x of z as x of z is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity because the the sequence is causal it means that the x of n is 0 for n less than 0 x of n z power minus n so simplifying this or expanding the summation i can get x of 0 plus x of 1 z power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2 plus and so on so here we can observe that the coefficient of x of n is only negative powers of z that is coefficients of x of n is negative power of z or i can say here the roc will be always greater than some constant so for if we consider x of n as a causal sequence sequence then the roc will be always greater than some constant and x of n the coefficients of x of n will be negative powers of z one should remember this so similarly if consider case 2 consider sequence x of n is non causal or anti causal 
so in that case we have x of z will be equal to non causal means we have roc will be less than some constant x of z will be summation n is equal to minus infinity to 0 x of n z power minus n so expanding this summation i can get x of minus 2 z power 2 plus x of minus 1 z power 1 plus x of 0 z power 0. So here we can observe that the coefficient of x of n is positive power of z that is positive power of z now we can conclude that in power series method or long division method calculating inverse z transform is calculating inverse z transform of x of z is only determination of x of n coefficients x of n that is x of 0 or x of 1 or x of 2 for causal signals and x of minus 1, x of minus 2 and so on for non-causal sequence. Suppose the given x of z is of the form say numerator divided by denominator. So in long division method or power series method to obtain one should remember these two points to obtain a causal sequence first represent numerator that is n of z and denominator that is z of z either in descending powers of z or ascending powers of z inverse before long division. So similarly to obtain a non-causal sequence first n of z and d of z either first represent n of z and d of z either in ascending 
पावर्स ऑफ जेड और डिसेंडिंग पावर्स ऑफ जेड इनवर्स बिफोर लॉन्ग डिविजन नाउ लेट मी कंसिडर वन एग्जाम्पल सो दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बेटर सो लेट एक्स ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू इज जेड डिवाइडेड बाई टू जेड स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री जेड प्लस वन कंसिडरिंग आर ओ सी एस जेड लेस देन वन बाय टू सो हियर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द आर ओ सी इज लेस देन वन बाय टू इट मीन्स दैट here we will get the non causal sequence here in ascending powers of z or descending powers of z inverse so here let me write the numerator and denominator as ascending powers of z so i can represent it as z divided by we have here we can see that the power of z is in descending order i will arrange it in ascending order that is 1 minus 3z plus 2z square so if we write like this we'll get the non causal sequence that is the positive powers of z so to divide z by this term first we have to multiply this with z so if we multiply this term with z we'll get z minus 3z square plus 2z power 2 so simplifying this minus plus minus this will get cancel here we will get 3z square minus 2 it is z cube here it is z cube now to divide this from this term now we have to multiply this with say 3z square so in that case we'll get 3z square minus 9z cube plus 6z power 4 so simplifying this we'll get this term will get cancel here we'll get 7z cube minus 6z power 4 now to simplify this further i can multiply here this term with say 7z cube so in that case i will get it as 7z cube minus 21z power 4 plus 14z power 5 so here we'll get simplifying this this term will get cancel here i will get 15z power 4 minus 14z power 5 so to continue this again we have to multiply this with 15z power 4 so this process will be continued so here in long division method we have to consider only quotient so this is the quotient part there so here we have to represent the x of z as as it is negative sequence we have to start from negative we have plus now the represent these in descending order that is 15z power 4 Plus seven z power three plus three z square plus z, or we can represent it as x of n will be equal to as I said here, x of minus one, x of minus two for non-causal sequence. So it means that x of n sequence will be consists of. So this is fifteen. That is x of Minus four, and x of minus three is seven. X of minus two is three. X of minus one is one, and x of zero is zero. So this is the sequence x of n, which is non-causal sequence. Now let me consider the same example considering. 
ROC Z is greater than 1 by 2. So in that case, we supposed to represent the numerator and denominator as the descending power of Z. X of Z is equal to Z divided by so in long division method we have to divide numerator by denominator like traditional method like this Z divided by 2Z square minus 3Z plus 1 so here we should divide z by this term such that we should get the negative powers of z that is so here if i take 1 by 2 z inverse then by multiplying 2z square with 1 by 2z inverse i will get it as z minus we have 3 by 2 plus we have 1 by 2 z inverse so further simplifying so here these two term will get cancelled so here it will be 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 z inverse now again we will try to multiply or we will try to divide this number by this that is now we should multiply this by 3 by 4 z power minus 2 so in that case if I multiply 2 z square with 3 by 4 z power minus 2 here I will get 3 by 2 minus we have 9 by 4 z power minus 1 plus 3 by 4 z power minus 2 so simplifying this this will be minus plus minus so this term will get cancelled and here we will get 7 by 4 z inverse minus 3 by 4 z power minus 2 so this process will be continued now here we supposed to consider only quotient that is x of z is equal to we have 1 by 2 z inverse plus 3 by 4 z power minus 2 plus we have so and so terms if x of n is causal sequence then the coefficients are x of 0 x of 1 and x of 2 the coefficient of x of n will be negative powers of z so here we can see that the x of 0 will be 0 x of 1 is z power minus 1 coefficient that is 1 by 2 the coefficient of z power minus 2 is x of 2 that is 3 by 4 and so on therefore we can write x of n sequence is equal to 0 1 by 2 3 by 4 so this is how we supposed to calculate x of n sequence that is inverse z transform x of n sequence from x of z using inverse z transform.